play from day one. Real estate agent Justin Hurd says that means access to cash up front. It's not uncommon to see twenty, thirty thousand dollars of earnest money. Even if that means borrowing from a relative or 401k. But it's just what they're having to do to compete. Depending on your tolerance for risk, making some of that money non-refundable could make your offer more attractive. It's all about making the seller comfortable with as many guarantees as you can, proving you are the hassle-free buyer. We were kind of done playing all of those games because we had been playing them for so long. The Cisneros created a successful game plan. I'm happy that we were able to, to navigate through it. They bought the home they wanted and don't mind sharing what they learned. First, find out what's important to the seller and craft the offer to match. Do they need extra time to move? If so, offer to lease the home back. Bottom line, you need to be creative to win. People are not always taking the offer that's the highest offer. Consider other out-of-the-box ideas like visiting estate sales or the neighborhood where you want to buy. One successful buyer simply showed up at a park and asked other moms if anyone was getting ready to list their home. In searching for other solutions, I stumbled across this creative tactic. I'll just buy the house and then, you know, you can buy it for me. Is something I'd never heard of. Here, there's the kitchen. That's the solution offered to the molars from their agent. Both of them fed up with rejected offers. And I just said, no, we're not going to do this again. We put down non-refundable earnest money, all kinds of things, and still didn't get them. Agents Drew Armstrong and Matthew Flinders put the molars in the number one spot by offering to buy the house themselves with cash. You really feel for these young families that are trying to get a house. Cash only did the trick. The quick transaction got the offer accepted. Being able to turn Bracken into a cash buyer in this situation made it so that his offer was accepted where it wouldn't have been otherwise. They then sold the home back to the molars a few weeks later. I mean, that's not something that a typical real estate agent would do. They could make more money flipping the homes for profit, but they like giving people a fighting chance. It's really rewarding emotionally for me, too. We're loving it, yeah. The couple is now enjoying their new house and the yard for their two German shepherds and can't thank their agents enough for going above and beyond. Thank you. I constantly said thank you for doing this, and it's a, it's a service. It really is. Just a great success story for that family. And, you know, one final piece of advice I learned. Save yourself from disappointment.